Hello and welcome! In this tutorial I'm going to share some tips to help you with visualization of natural bond orbitals in JMOL Viewer, particularly using JMOL Apple for display in web browsers. We will use plot files generated by Genbo 5.0 Windows created in the previous tutorial. There is a little modification to the files that has to be done for the proper display of NBOs. Then we will go into JMOL to prepare our imagery. We will download and set up a simple web server, and we will finish up by exporting JMOL Apple files to view them in a web browser. So let's start by launching JMOL Viewer by clicking JMOL JAR file, usually sitting on our desktop. Next, we double check that all orbitals and macros work properly by selecting the first macro to run, in this case NBO4 of Formamide created earlier. It is a typical carbonyl pi double bond orbital. Then we try NBO10, which is the lone electron pair p orbital on a nitrogen. Before we proceed any further, let's check that we have all plot files, especially files 37 and 46. Then we go into JMOL Viewer, File, Export, and export web page. We select script button JMOL tab, fill in the path for our install of JMOL files, and click add present JMOL state button to load our current image. Enter the orbital name into the pop-out window. In this case I had loaded NBO12. Next we load NBOs 11 and 10 and lastly a composite of NBO12 and 87, which correspond to a HOMO orbital and its antibonding counterpart. Then we click Save HTML as button. For this tutorial I have created a folder called FormServe at the same level as the main JMOL installation resides. We will briefly inspect the new folder and files created in it. Then we need to go back to the original plot files and copy files 31 and 46 into the FormServe folder. We rename both files by inserting 37 between the file name and its extension. Know the surrounding periods. This step is necessary as JMOL won't recognize NBO plot files compressed in the gzip archive. The next step is a web server. For JMOL Apple to work, we need to run a simple web server on our local machine. One could certainly use a remote web server, but I'll stay with the local setup. I use the Mongoose server, which is a light web server, good enough for this purpose. Download it from the link shown here or in a written tutorial. Installation is again at the same level as JMOL and FormServe folders are located. Run the Mongoose executable. Confirm the security warning and note the M small icon at the bottom right of your window taskbar. Click it and choose Install. Install. 
When done later, click Deinstall in Exit option. Now let's launch web browser and type in the localhost address with port 8080 and the main HTML file. In this case, it's a FormServe HTML. JMO Apple launches and you have all NBOs that we've selected earlier to click them and load the corresponding NBOs. For more details, see the written version of this tutorial.